two nights ago, I got home and my phone rang and the caller ID said Roger Staubach. And well, it didn't actually say Roger. Okay. It said it had two other initials by it, but it said Staubach. And naturally I thought, oh my God, I've, I've upset the captain and he's, he's had to call me. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this was really incredible, right? Uh, and I, w- I was sitting there at my laptop. I, I got home and I'm sitting in my office and, uh, and I was looking up information on a new client actually that's coming on board, I believe in April. Very exciting project. And this became a very convenient, a good thing for me to have on my lap as this conversation got going. But yeah, I, I looked in the and you know, nine out of 10 calls that I get are now telemarketers. Yeah. Um, so I thought I was just gonna hit ignore but when it says Staubach, you're like, hold on, wait a minute. And for a second... Your car warranty is expired. You might want to get this <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're at the warranty department. I uh, just want to... So concerned. Yeah, you give me the opportunity here to extend it before it runs out. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so anyway, I, I answer. And I answer the phone how I always answer. I say, hello, this is Gavin. And this voice that became very familiar says, well, hello, Gavin. This is Roger Staubach. <laughs> I'm like, you got to be kidding me. It's really him. And to be honest, he sounded like a younger man. You he push really back did. a little bit when he said, this is Roger. You should push back right then and there. Be like, this is really Roger. Why are you calling me? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, the scam calls you just well, I, referenced. I, I did say something like, you're kidding me. Yeah. Right? Okay. And, and uh, he goes, no, this is Gavin Dawson, right? I'm calling you to talk about being a quarterback. Right? Ooh. And I'm like, okay, at that moment, I'm thinking, holy cow, does he have some thoughts about how I've critiqued other quarterbacks? Yeah. Is Roger calling me to drop the information on, yeah. hey, when you're on air, think yeah. about it this way or that way? My my mind is racing yeah. right now. Let me clean you up right quick, brother. Yeah, 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 you know, I got you. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm a radio host on 105 through the fan here in Dallas, just to make sure I didn't want to assume anything. I don't know if Roger is a Tolo or, or whatever, but... I let him know, you know, I'm I'm not a quarterback. My my sports were soccer and, and basketball, and I've actually never played a, a down of football, sir. Right, so I was going with the assumption at that point that he was talking to me about actually me playing the position. Mm-hmm. Um, and he says, "Well, that's funny because I was just talking to Babe Loffenberg, and he said there was a quarterback at University of Texas El Paso named Gavin Dawson that I should give a call to." <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. And at that moment, as I told you, I was at yeah, my computer. You were. So I Googled UTEP quarterback Gavin. And boom, it pops up. I believe going into his redshirt junior year mm-hmm. is a gentleman by the name of Gavin Hardison quarterback. Okay. So I said, oh, okay, I, I see. I said, I, I believe Babe was trying to give you the contact information for Gavin Hardison, but it was right next to my name in his contacts, um, and he gave you my information instead. Okay, so that is really starting to come together pretty quickly. Must be them Aikman beers. It was all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So then it, you know, we we had a little bit of a laugh about it. You know how you share contacts and everything, yeah. and you know, Babe sent that over to Roger's people to give to Roger, and he gets the contact. Here it is, Gavin Dawson with my number, and you know, we had a, a few minutes of like small talk about it and a little bit of joking, and you know, I I did actually say maybe. Maybe uh, Babe was having a few too many of those new beers with Troy. Yeah, and and he said, "Yeah, you know, maybe he had too many concussions." Ha ha ha! And I'm like, "Holy crap! I'm kind of I'm cracking jokes." Yeah, about a former Cowboys quarterback with perhaps the greatest Cowboys quarterback of all time. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And he said, "Well, I was ready to give you a pep talk about being physically and mentally tough. That's what it takes to play the quarterback position. <laughs> and I said, "Well, I, I'm kind of a radio quarterback, Roger. So I, you know, sir, I guess I'll I'll take that advice and yeah. try to apply yeah. it to my job, however possible. I appreciate the pep talk, man. Don't this waste is this phone call, Roger. Let's get it going. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, okay, this is this is actually going pretty well. And at that moment, I thought, you know, you got to get off the phone before it becomes awkward. Yeah. 
You, you don't want that, to. That, well, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Th- thanks. Yeah. You know, and I, I will make things awkward from time to time. You know, it's just a, a quirk of mine. You know, when, when there's all that silence, well, you know. Um, and I, I, I knew at that moment I had a good thing going. Like, mm-hmm. babe had messed up. Right. Roger's on the phone with right. me. I cracked the joke about the beers. He said concussions. Ha, ha, ha. We've laughed. And now I'm thinking, okay, when am I going to wrap this up and, and get off the phone with him? Did you think about asking a question about Dak at all? No, no, I didn't. I, I actually did kind of off the cuff throw off like hey well now that i got you here maybe you'd like to come on for an interview oh but before he could that's have that's when ch- it got awkward i bet huh? I guess when he, yeah. yeah just hung yeah, up automatically <laughs> <laughs> before he could Hello, answer roger roger, roger. <laughs> roger. <laughs> i lost captain you. america yeah. you there <laughs> nah, before he could answer that i was like no nah, i'm just kidding i wouldn't ask you to do that man it's just such an honor to have you on the phone and i i kept rolling with it because i think i was terrified of his answer you know on that um um, but then, uh, you know, uh, he says, well, I guess I'll have to call babe in the morning and get this sorted out. And I said, okay, well have a great night. It was truly an honor to, to take a call from you and I'll never forget it. And, you know, and, and, uh, we said our goodbyes. And so then I instantly text my dad. Yeah. You're on the phone with the darn goat, man. Yeah. My buddies are like, hey, man, when are you going to get on and play Call of Duty? I'm like, sorry, guys. I just got a call on my personal cell from Roger Staubach. It's going to take me a while. I might not get to you tonight. Name mm-hmm. dropping Dawson. Yeah, they yeah. need they need me to carry the team. And they're they're always busting my balls about being on the radio and thinking I'm special or something like that. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of playing the whole role like, yeah, I've got Roger's number here on my phone. It's going to. Um, but I, I said, um, you know, I, I told my dad, I said, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, a couple of friends. I, I tell them the story. But then I decide. Man, I gotta I gotta text Babe about this. Yeah. Just to get kind of give him the heads up. So you know, maybe get a little backstory on this as well. So <laughs> I call up I call or I text Babe and he said, Okay, oh man. He's like, uh, hang tight. I'll call you tomorrow. I didn't know any other details. What? Like, yeah. He's like I'm like, You're gonna call me tomorrow? Whoa. This is I mean, you just I thought maybe you were pranking yeah, me. I, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I don't need nobody call me. I'm anymore. just giving you a heads up. Uh, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> you might want to get Roger uh Gavin Hardison's real number down yeah. there at, at UTEP. Yeah. Um but he calls me the next day. And uh what happened is that night, Monday night, about an hour or so earlier, uh uh and and throughout the evening, Babe was emceeing the children's cancer fund event. Right. Okay. And and he was super busy with all those duties. You might have seen some of it on social media. Well, he was with Roger Staubach, yeah. I thought. Yeah. Yeah, he was with Roger yeah. and Troy was Troy, there. Yeah. yeah, that's where I seen the beers. And uh, uh he needed a, to also, while he was emceeing, get some moments in there to talk with Troy and Roger about this kid at UTEP, Gavin Hardison. And he was gonna ask them, Hey, can you uh call the quarterback down there at UTEP and give him a little bit of a pep talk? So I actually could have gotten a call from Troy. I could have gotten a oh, call wow. from Troy. Wow. Okay, mm. he apparently sent Troy the real contact info. He sent Roger, and he, I don't know which one I would rather have call me. Um, uh, so I was just ecstatic. But you know, when you're doing an MC thing like that, and you're mm. busy, people want to take pictures. The director's telling you you got to be on stage at this time. Right. He gets the okay from Roger. He just looked at his phone. We had a laugh about it's organized chaos when you're doing yeah. it at the time. Yeah. 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 So he didn't get his readers out. Maybe he didn't know where they were because he was so busy or or whatever. Um, But he sees Gavin and, you know, he couldn't really make out the last name, but he could think he saw son instead of Dawson Hardison. He sends Raj that contact and 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 those events were set in motion. So he says yesterday he was. This is yesterday. He says, listen, I, I know this is a great story, and you're, you're probably thinking it's a cool highlight, and I've already told a couple of my buddies about it, and they're like, man, can you imagine Roger Staubach calling you? His buddies were like, I've known you for 40 years, and Roger's never called me. Hmm. But uh, Babe says, if you could do me a favor, don't go on air with this until hmm. Roger can call the quarterback down there because we want it to be a surprise. Yeah. Uh, no problem, Babe. You know, I'll stand by, maybe tell this story on Wednesday or something like that. So during our – this is the final chapter in the story – during our show yesterday, Babe reaches out to text Gavin Hardison again. And I get this text who <laughs> says, hey, Gavin, make sure you have your phone on you tonight. You might get a special call. <laughs> it's Babe Loffenberg again? again 
misinterpreting Gavin Dawson for Gavin Hardison. So I texted back, babe, in all caps, this is Gavin Dawson, babe, L-O-L. Yeah. So, Save me as Dawson in your phone from now on. Okay, you know what? He did that exact thing. Okay. He, he sent me a screenshot this morning and said, hey, check this out. You are now Dawson. Yes. Uh, in the phone. Anyway, Roger gets the call in. Now I'm rooting for Gavin Hardison down there with the Miners, who, by the way, is uh, wearing number two for Luke Laufenberg. Mm -hmm. And that's quite an honor down there. You know, they change it every year. It's kind of like, a, I don't know, it's not a team captain thing, but it's a tremendous honor because mm -hmm. of the work that Luke put in and they're constantly honoring him. And, you know, uh, it's a it's a big honor to wear number two. So uh, that'll be uh, something to look for. Hopefully, you know, he has a big year and he comes together with those pep talks. You know, it's funny. It reminded me of the problems that I have with, Joe Trahan in my phone. Oh, is that right? Yes. Because there's got Joe, two Joes. There's yeah. two Joe Trahans, and there's one on Channel 8, and there's one who's the PR department with Yo, the Cowboys. Do you have it saved as Black Joe Trahan in your phone, dog? Don't tell me saved as Black Joe. <laughs> you, can, you, can look at, you can look at my phone right now. You can look at my phone. You can look at my phone right now. And that's why I have a problem. <laughs> That's why. It's Cowboys Joe Trahan or TV Joe Trahan. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But it's like Joe, they're right next to each other. And I've done that where I'm like, hey, Trahan, what time's the locker room open today? <laughs> he's like, I don't know, Brian. I'm doing a story on. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. So I got to the point where I learned the area codes. Like Joe Trahan's phone is as a Louisiana area code. And so that's how I know the difference. Now. But there were times I was texting back and forth real quick. And you're not even think you're just it's Joe Trahan. Boom, send it. And it's like, yeah. Oh uh, no, Brian, I'm not doing the news tonight. I'm here. You know, I'm like, yeah. oh, sorry about that. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, similar names. You know, uh, technology. Yeah, needing readers. Like you and Bay probably do. Yeah. I'm going to stick with my story, Broadus. I like that you saved it as the black Joe Trey hand <laughs> in your phone. You know better, better, sir. Yeah. You know better. hilarious. 209, imagine being the quarterback at UTEP and actually getting the call from Roger. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Troy. And Troy, yeah. 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 Uh, 817. I'd no have pressure. <laughs> right? I, I'd have stuttered, says the 817. Uh, another 817, a casual once-in-a-lifetime moment, LOL. 972, dang. I would have then asked him if our current quarterback was those two things that you just mentioned, mentally and, and physically tough. Uh, 682, I thought he was going to scold you for something you said about Dak on air. That was in the back of my mind. Me too. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. You were going to tell me. Well, Lucius, they're absolutely loving you on the uh, the Twitch for you getting after me about stuff. Oh, so yeah. That's funny I mean, stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know, it probably commentary. says really Black Joe Trey head in there. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> I got a photo and everything. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing, bro. I know, I know you are. Jesse Holly texted me and said, did Roger call because he's interested in the third spot on your show? The general and the captain has a nice ring to there it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> the yeah. captain and Tennille. Yeah. The captain and Tennille. All righty. Um, Some it, people they also say, Gavin, that after uh, that, probably that uh, Bay probably just deleted your number now. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, I don't want to deal with you anymore. This guy gets in you my know, way. Just, uh, just, uh, <laughs> too many mistakes. I keep messing up. I can ruin a whole relationship <laughs> like this. I was prepared for that. I, I was prepared <laughs> to, to actually have to text Babe every time. Hey, this is Gavin Dawson. You yeah. don't have my number anymore. Yeah. You keep. Do you think that 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 a talk like that from Troy and Raj can have an impact on a guy? Ba I haven't seen the oh. guy play, but Babe said. And I looked up his 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 measurables. He's tall. He says yeah. he's got a big arm. Lots oh, of sure. talent. Just hasn't put it all together. Yet. Oh sure, that's you know that any time that you can, you know the the problem that we run into nowadays though you probably know Troy Aikman as a kid more than you would know Roger Staubach unless you're a kid from Texas unless you grew up in a family where you're Dallas Cowboy fans your dad was growing all this you know but there's a lot of times where these kids I remember the problem with the Cowboys with Calvin Hill the you know the former running back who who played there for so many years the kids didn't even know who Calvin Hill was and then all of a sudden you're like. Oh, that's Grant Hill's dad. dad. Yeah. And they're like, oh. And then they go, well, who's Grant Hill? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. No, and that, it, seriously, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that happens. Crusty. Yeah. Yeah. That old, that old yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I just also want to say before I wrap up this segment how <laughs> awesome Roger was, like, just as a guy on the phone. I think a lot of people, when they get the wrong number, they just be like, oh, bye. 
but you know he had like all the patience and the sense of humor and like the uh, the grace I think you know how some uh, especially older gentlemen they just have this calm and ease about and I was like man this is so cool I'm basically mm -hmm. just on the phone chatting it up there uh, with with Roger Staubach so definitely a, a life moment and I, I want to thank him for for being such an awesome dude on the phone <laughs>